Hello, I've been showing you a lot of videos about how I generate the G-code to operate a CNC using FreeCAD. Of course, some of it includes also making the model, but the main part is creating the G-code. I operate this CNC using the G-code generated. This is a home-built machine and as you can easily see in the name of the channel, it's called Open Source CNC because all the software that I'm using is open source software. Starting with FreeCAD, of course, I'm generating the models in FreeCAD. I'm also generating the G-code in FreeCAD. Sometimes I use Blender, which is also open source, of course. And the controller is a simple ESP32 board without any shield because I'm using external drivers. Of course, the shield would be very useful for optocouplers and so on. But for now, I'm using a simple setup. And for sending the G-code to the controller, I'm using Universal G-code Sender. One of the advantages of the ESP32 board is that you can run G-code directly from an SD card. I don't have that model installed yet, but I plan on upgrading it soon. And of course, I will make a video about it and about configuring Fluid NC. I'm not going to talk too much about the mechanical part. It's a two motor Y axis setup, a single motor X axis, of course a single motor Z. I have a spindle, a water cooled spindle of 1.5 kilowatts. And of course I need to make a lot of upgrades for cable management, for the pipes that go to this nice bucket of water. But for now it does the job, it does the job great. I have achieved speeds up to 10,000 millimeters per minute but I'm just using it at 6500 uh, because it is safe enough so I don't risk losing steps and everything getting messed up. For homing the z-axis I have this simple device it's just a simple contact I connect it to the cutter head move it below I give the command and it automatically adjusts the z height since I don't have a an automatic tool changer this is very handy when using multiple cutter heads it makes everything much faster than uh, homing the machine manually and of course m much more precise moving on to the electronics you can see here the setup that i have i have a vfd for the spindle a power source for the drivers and the tiny sp32 board which is connected to a simple shield just to be able to screw the cables that go to the drivers one important thing that i'm using in this setup is this little blue board it is the interface the rs485 interface to the vfd it's a basic arduino interface it's about three dollars or something like this but it does the job great in communicating with the vfd and setting the spindle speed exactly as i want it to be set the power to the board is provided by the USB connection, but the main power for the drivers and the VFD is controlled separately. So here is my current setup. Of course, it needs a lot of improvements. I really need to solve the cable management thing. I need to replace these wooden parts. They are some leftovers from the time that this CNC was actually a wooden chassis CNC. You can see in this old footage how it looked at first since upgrading it i can reach much higher speeds one more thing i wanted to have the cutter head farther from the gantry and this plate is the, th the reason i wanted to have the cutter head here i can just install it instead of the bracket that's holding the cutter head then i can rotate the cutter head 90 degrees and i have a horizontal boring cnc after showing you how to install fluid nc on the esp32 board i will show you how to easily switch between the two modes the horizontal and the vertical modes how to generate the g-code from freecad it is very useful especially on long pieces such as bed rails such as window frames door frames and so on so this is a basic introduction to the machine next time i will show you how to install fluid nc on the tiny esp32 board and how to wire it to make a movable cnc using universal g-code center thank you for watching and see you next time